Good day everybody, I'm here to talk about social developer. Social developer is somebody who likes to invest in himself, in other people, and who believes in teams, not just a group of people. Who am I? My name is Peter van der Woorden. I live in Schoonhuizen. It's a small part of Dendermonde. I'm a technical project lead at Real Dolmen. That's something in IT. And you can find me on the internet, on Twitter and on my own blog. So, teams. What are teams? You've got several definitions of teams. One of them is, well, you take a group of people, you throw them together and you say, congratulations, you are a team. Then you get something like this. Yeah, that's a group of people. You don't know them. They don't have personalities, they must do something together, they don't know why, they don't know how. This isn't a team. This isn't my definition of team. You need personalities in a team. They always say, there is no I in team. I'm very sorry, but there is. There it is. Once you've seen it, you can't unsee it. You need personalities in a team to excel. You need different skill sets, different people, different ideas in a team to truly Excel. So, you want an example? No problem. There you go. Four very different personalities. Handsome one, crazy one, strong one, smart one. Combine them together and you get the 80. One of the best teams around. And they love it when the plans come together. But, okay, this is fiction. This is TV. We all know on TV everything is possible. No problem. Weer Brugge. Soccer teams. You've got different specialities. You've got your goalie, attacker, defender, midfielder. All those people have different personalities, have different skill sets, and you need all those different skill sets combined together to create an efficient, excellent team. So, you can put your goalie in front, no problem, he'll do his best, but he won't excel because it isn't his passion, it isn't his goal. He wants to be in his goal, get it, and defend it. The attacker, he wants to get inside that goal with the ball. So, they all have different skill sets, combine them together, your team will excel. So, how can you build this kind of team? Well, it takes time, it takes passion, it takes listening, speaking, learning. How can you start? This is my son Leander. He's one and a half years old and I took this picture because it shows the wonder of a little child in our worlds. They explore, they aren't afraid of doing new stuff, they aren't afraid of doing dangerous stuff because they don't know it's dangerous. But they don't care about what other people think, what other people say. They just love playing, they love the wonder in this world. And we all were like this once in our lifetime. But then we lost it, we lost this, this happy feeling, this joy we were, oh no, society expects this from me. Drop it, try to find back the wonder that you had when you were a little child. How can you do this? Be assertive. Don't be aggressive, be assertive. Speak up, say, this is who I am, this is my passion, this is what I believe, this is what I want to become. What do you want to become? Who are you? Tell me, I want to know you, I want to combine our passions into a common goal, something greater than the sum of our two. Make your own road, find your own road. Don't follow the expected highway from birth to death that everybody is at the moment trying to follow because society expects this from us. Do your own thing. Go to a TED talk. Talk at a TED talk. Find your interest, find your passion and go out into the world. Yes, your road will go up and down. It will sometimes be very hard, but at least it will be your own road and it will cross many other people's roads and each intersection will have something new to learn. Don't be afraid of people. They might look alien, they might look grumpy and dangerous, but actually, they might just be friends you haven't met yet. They might become part of one of your teams, maybe in your private life, in your personal life. Learn to know people. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. Get out of your comfy chair, get out of your home, go out into the world, talk to people, do something new, do something scary every day. For me, this is also my second uh, talk, and it's scary to stand up here, but it's also very rewarding. It's like, okay, I'm doing something new, I'm alive, I'm feeling the fun. That's what you should try to find. Get out of your comfort zone. You can always come back, 
But each time that conference room will just be a little bigger. More people will be inside it, you will have a, and you will become a fuller person. You can do like these guys do. Don't look around, don't listen, don't speak up. You can actually do the opposite. Look around, look at the world, look at the people. Be amazed at this wonderful world we live in. Talk to people, talk about your passion, try to inspire them and listen to other people. Accept that they have different opinions and learn from them. And then, 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 then there will be a bright future ahead of you, I can guarantee it. I hope I've inspired you all just a little bit and I've planted a little seed of something new within your hearts. Enjoy the rest of the talks and thank you very much.